Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Danyan's Gaming Up. My name is of course Danyan, and today we are going to take a look at what I think is the best and fastest way of farming common armor and weapons. With the introduction of players being able to salvage white items now, Blizzard made one thing happen again. Farming. Even if you play the game since launch or you're just starting, everyone is in need of common debris. This is needed for what is most likely best in slot gear pre-Reaper of Souls. But white items hardly drop from mobs, and most of the times you find them by luck, as it is with many items in Diablo. However, I have found a rather rewarding way of farming white items fast and easy. You can do it on Torment 1 or higher if you want, but personally I run a Torment 3 because of my damage, but it is up for you to decide. Needless to say, Torment 1 is the fastest way since mobs will give little to no resistance. So the first mode we're going to be in is going to be Act 1. All the way over to the Imprisoned Angel, begin quest, start from there. Once you get in, take the quest from Leah, teleport to Leorok's Manor. And from here you are going to run the Halls of Agony until you have all the items you need. Also it, it is notable that if you take the speed buff from the core, you it will go a lot faster. You don't need the damage in here. If you're going to do it on Torment 1 or 2, the low amount of damage is not really gonna matter. And what you basically want to find is... Oh. One was right here, there we go. It's torture tools. These drop 100% white items. Now in order to demonstrate how much this actually is, how much you actually gain from an entire run, I got 223 white items from running from Leah all the way over to the Butcher. It took me around 15 minutes. That is on Torment 3. So if you do it on Torment 1, it will go even a lot faster. So in my own opinion, this is a very good way of farming white items. Now that number is of course very random. You cannot really have a fixed number on white items. So sometimes you have a little bit less, sometimes you have a little bit more. So in order for us to increase our chances, there is another way that we can farm that is a lot easier, but does yield a little bit less white items. All the way up to Act 3, Siege Breaker. You can either do Begin Quest, that means you have to go over the big field, which is okay-ish. But you can also do Kill Siege Breaker. What this does is you're already instantly on the bridge. And it's going to be the bridge you're going to farm using the same method with using the weapon and armor racks. Now, and if we take a little look at what that little salvage run had given us, 63 white items. For me, that is around two weapons. I, no, that is that is almost two weapons I can make. I need two more, then I can make a new weapon. Um, but the bridge run takes around six to seven minutes, maybe less if you, if, if you run fast. So it's up to you what you wanna do. Personally, I like the House of Agony a little bit more. Uh, also, if you run it on like Torment level 4 or 5, if you just want to farm some experience as well. Anyway guys, that's it for this little video. I hope that this little guide is giving you some insight on how you can farm white items a little bit better. It is mostly common sense, most of the things, but still, a lot. I see a lot of people in general asking like, How, how can I f uh, farm white items? I'm like, let me help you, friend. Anyway, if you have some really good tips as well, please let me know because I am, I'm just figuring out stuff on my own as well. Builds and uh, farming items. I just got two beautiful plants and I'm going to be farming a lot of white items in the next couple of days because I want to have awesome gear. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and as always, keep on winning guys. Yeah!